But our research also tells us that only 2% of businesses implementing these changes are getting beyond the proof of concept or pilot stage. That's 98% of businesses not getting any value at all from their investment in the technology. Now, RPA has been around for 20 years and has been mainstream for five. So why the high failure rate? Back to John P. Cotter. Transformation is a process, not an event. Too many businesses believe that if they buy the technology and hire a developer or an analyst, then that's the job done. This has never been the case. This misconception is one of the main reasons automation and artificial intelligence projects fail. Looking closer at the problem, we realise that industry is full of training programmes on how to build a bot or how to be a solutions architect. There is, however, very little education for operations leaders or programme and project managers on how to use this niche technology. As a result, their teams don't know best practice for applying it. Some businesses promote a technology expert to run the programme, but find that they lose out twice as a result. They lose a good developer and gain a poor manager. No one in IT knows the business better than the business leaders, so they need to learn about the technology 